The future of the Delbridge Museum is in the hands of the Sioux Falls City Council. Today, the council had a chance to ask questions and hear from some of the people who they represent. Kelloland Stansentella joins us live at Carnegie Town Hall with details on today's discussion and what's next for the historic exhibit. Kelly, it's an informational meeting, so that means there's going to be no vote today. It was all eight councillors here at Carnegie Town Hall, downtown Sioux Falls, hearing about this collection. The city is seeking to declare the specimens a surplus. What that designation would mean, according to City Attorney Dave Fifely, is that the city could then give the specimens away to a qualifying 501c3. But no vote on that today. That's coming up in two weeks on September 19th. Councillors are hearing about how the city has assessed the collection what the city thinks of the collection now and the detected arsenic levels in the collection, which vary widely. We've covered this for you on air and online in recent weeks. Some of the most impassioned testimony came from city councilor Greg Neitzer. He used the words, frankly appalled, to how he was feeling about this arsenic discussion, saying it shouldn't matter, the levels are not problematic. We heard from other councilors, Alex Jensen said, outside of COVID, he hasn't heard from more constituents on any other topic other than this one. And Marshall Selberg, he was not the only one to say this, said it behooves everyone to sort of take a step back, listen to everyone, assess the situation, maybe take it at perhaps a slower pace. Counselors are weighing in somewhat, but it's mostly asking questions, getting to figure out the situations on whether or not they will agree and indeed vote to declare this collection surplus in two weeks on September 19th. I'll have my full report for you coming up tonight on Kelloland News at 10.